Hello everyone and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington, and we are going to catch up on some Real Housewives of Beverly Hills featuring Diana Jenkins T. But before we dive in, be sure to like this video. It really helps me in the algorithm. And also please subscribe to my channel and share this with a friend because a kiki is always better with the community. You can show your support through a super thanks below and also check out the description box. We have merchandise, books, podcasts, movies. We got it all going down there in the description box. So be sure to check that out and grab some freebies. And also don't forget to have fun. All right, let's dive in, guys. Let's do this. So a couple of things. Diana Jenkins has had a lot of allegations, a lot of rumors, a lot of blind items about her. You know, we all know that allegations about her, you know, being a child sex trafficker, about her being a madame, about her, you know, sort of procuring children and young men and young women for sex to, and sexual slavery to wealthy men. We all know those allegations, those rumors, and those have been around for years, if not decades. So that's nothing new under the sun. We've all heard them. They've been out for years and years and years and decades and decades and decades. So we know that. There's also been the rumors that the reason why Diana doesn't like to stay overnight um, with the ladies is because she wants her own privacy in order to indulge in the uh, the... The, the nose candy, if you will. She likes to go skiing. She likes the Coca-Cola without the cola, if you see what I'm saying here. Again, this is not what I am saying. I'm not saying this is true or a fact. I'm just saying what the rumors have been, what the blind items have been, what is being said. So I just want to be very, very clear. I am not saying this is true. I'm not saying this is a fact. I'm not saying that she does this. I'm just saying these are what the allegations are out in the world. Now, she is clapping back at, to me, the least important rumor out there. So there was a blind item that one of the uh, housewives, much, 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 much younger, you know, boyfriend, husband, partner, whatever, was having an affair with the nanny. Now, some people are like, oh, it could be Carolyn Stanberry and Sergio, you know, from her housewives of Dubai, but they don't really have like a nanny situation going on. Her kids are much older. Um, it just seemed more like the people in the blind item were talking about Diana and Asher. Diana and Asher, I believe, are engaged. I don't believe they're married yet. I believe that they are engaged. And as we all know, they have a young daughter together. I believe she's like a toddler age or maybe like a little bit younger than that, but like young toddler age situation going on. So everyone's like, oh, the blind item must be referring to Diana and Asher. As we all know, they have a massive age gap. Diana's pushing 50. Asher, I think, is just like maybe that 25 to 30 age get age range, I think. You guys check me on that. Um, I'm thinking he's around that age, but I could be off by a little bit. So definitely check me on that one. Anyway, so she's basically coming out and being like, this is laughable. You know, my nanny is no way. Hold on. Oh, this is a different person. Okay. I was like, he's not 20. Okay. Anyway. So, yeah, so he's, like, in his 20s, that area. But there has been pictures of Diana and Asher that have resurfaced of when he was, you know, 13, 14, 15 years old. So she's known him since he was a child. It's giving Celine Dion and her husband vibes where, you know, Celine Dion was, like, 14, 13, 15 years old. She was this amazing singer. And, you know, her manager, the person who was responsible for her, the adult in the room, ends up, the moment she comes of age, you know, sleeping with her and then ultimately marrying her, you know, you guys can do the math, you can put two and two together, what that looks like, what that feels like, it doesn't feel good. I mean, anytime that you are a child and you have a person who is an adult in a, in a position of authority over you, and then that relationship ultimately becomes sexual, eh, it, it, it's not a good feeling. It doesn't land well, messes with my spirit. I don't like it. Anyway, 
so there has been photos that have resurfaced of Diana and Asher when he was, you know, a child, 13, 14, 15. So she's known him for a long time. Clearly, she's a, an adult. Clearly, she's a, a person who's in a position of authority. You know, she has all of the money. She has all the power. She can promise him that he's going to be this big star, this big singer. Obviously, he has those aspirations. So again, it just doesn't feel good. I'm not saying, again, I don't know. I'm not saying anything happened when he was a child. I wasn't there. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it just it doesn't feel good to me personally when those are the dynamics in relationships. But for whatever reason, Diana wants to clap back at this particular rumor. And she's like, oh, no, it's so funny. You know, um, with my two older sisters, uh, my two older children, you know, my mom was my, the nanny. And now with this child, my, my, the, my mother's the nanny. Ha, ha, ha. So funny. Like, we're all laughing at this. You know, thanks for the laugh. You know, you know I'm on to you, mom. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Ha, 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 ha. So basically she's saying there's no truth to these rumors. It's laughable. My nanny is my mother. Now, Miss Diana Jenkins. I'm just going to say hypothetically, because I know that you're very litigious. And I don't want to give you any reason to come after me. So hypothetically speaking, I'm talking about a hypothetical character. If a hypothetical character with endless amounts of money a hypothetical character who literally has multiple assistants, teams of people. They have stylists, they have makeup artists, they have chefs, they have professional trainers. They have people who literally go to hotel rooms and they go to, you know, houses simply to cleanse the energy and cleanse the air and do rituals. A person who literally has a team of people for every aspect of your life wants me to believe that the only person other than their mother, the only person who is caring for their child is their mother, that they don't have housekeepers, that they don't have um, additional nannies to help and support. They don't have a night nurse. I don't buy it. If, a, if this hypothetical character with all the money in the world with literally team, they travel with teams of people. You're going to tell me that they're going to only have their mother looking after their, their infant to toddler age child. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Do I think your mother is around? And do I think your mother helps? 100%. Do I think your mother is on the payroll? 100%. And again, I'm talking about a hypothetical character. I'm not saying this is Diana Jenkins. I'm talking about a hypothetical character. Hypothetically, I I don't believe it. I simply don't believe it. Do I think your mom is there and you and you support your mom, which I think is a beautiful thing? You know, of course, if as we get older and if we have success and we're able to take care of our parents 100%, right? Do I think that a hypothetical character who is about you know, 48, 49, 50. So the mother has to be, let's just say it was a young mom. And let's say the mom is like 70, 71. Do I think when you have an arsenal of staff, cooks, housekeepers, really wealthy people have multiple nannies, not just one, they have multiple nannies. Do I think that the, a person who has a staff for their clothes, a staff for their, to clean the energy of the room, a staff for their makeup, a staff for their food, a staff for blah, 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 blah. Drivers, every access in the world. Do I think that person is only employing their elderly mother to look after their child? No. I, I, I just don't understand how people, these hypothetical characters, continuously put out, to me, blatant, laughable, illogical, you know, lies in order to sort of save face and debunk these rumors. To me, I would honestly have believed it more if this hypothetical character said, my mom does the main helping with my child. Yes, we have a staff. Yes, we have many housekeepers, but I trust my fiance. This is completely 
insane. Like this isn't happening, blah, 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 blah. That's way more believable than you trying to look me in my face when we see that you literally have like a hundred people on your staff at all times, that your elderly mother is the only person looking after your child. Miss me with the gaslighting, miss me with the BS, miss me with it. But again, I'm just talking about this hypothetical character. I don't know Diana Jenkins. I'm not saying that's her truth. I'm not saying it's a fact. I'm just saying if a hypothetical character under those given circumstances told me that, I would not personally believe it. But I want to know what you guys think. You know, be sure to comment below and let me know. Do you think this, do you believe Diana, you know, when she says her mom is her nanny and that's it, so it's laughable that her, you know, um, fiance Asher would be cheating. You know, let me know, does it also not kind of sit well with you when, you know, people who are adults in a position of authority who have known someone since they were a child grow to have a, a sexual relationship with them when they reach adulthood? Let me know what you think about that. Again, I'm not saying this is anything true about Diana Jenkins. I'm just saying hypothetically and just what the allegations and rumors have been. I'm not saying this is fact. So with that, everybody, if you have loved this kiki, be sure to like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live, and share this with a friend because a kiki is always better with, communi with, with community. Go ahead and hit that super thanks if you want to, and check out everything in the description box and grab some goodies. So with that, everybody, take care of yourself and each other. I love you. Bye. Welcome to Sugar Pills, a practical guide to self-care, where your host, writer, actor, and producer, Candy Washington, helps you live a more joyful life with a cheeky dash of pop culture news. Be sure to subscribe, leave a five-star review, and join the conversation on Instagram at Candy Washington. Let's go.